little wardrobe change one second oh gosh oh my scarf okay got it Alrighty. just want to switch up a little bit so i'm trying to play catch up and just making each video a little bit different so that we can um get back on track by his grace okay welcome once again to my youtube channel this is miss norma all righty good morning everyone how are you today once more our reading today is for june the 18th it's called depressing or uplifting let us pray abba father we thank you once again for the opportunity to come before you to pray to join hands lord across the board through this venue called YouTube, Lord, and just um, lift each other up, pray together, hold hands, share our concerns, pray for our personal communities, local communities, Lord, and the world at large. Lots of things still going on, gun violence still very rampant in the country, the Ukraine is still going on, and just a whole bunch of other stuff. But Lord, we just once again ask for guidance, for strength, for patience, for peace. Lord, for arms to be put down. Embrace our children, especially our young people, Lord, the teenagers, Lord, and our adults, as well as the little people in our lives. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to pray. Thank you, Lord, for keeping me, Lord, through my own um, personal um, health challenge, Lord. Um, you've, you've blessed and you've kept me and you've taken care of me, so I say thank you. Thank you for being able to come back to say hello to everyone and to continue um, with the readings, Father. Bless and heal all our land. Forgive us of our trespasses and our sins. And thank you, Lord, once again for the opportunity. i just like to say um, with uh, COVID, um, I didn't even know uh, that I was sick. I actually thought that it was just my allergies and my asthma started acting up. And I'm doing my asthma routine as I do whenever it kicks in. And nothing was... Uh, it just would die down, but it kept coming back. But the one thing I would like to share was that over the the week, during, well, I just found out two days, three days ago that I had COVID. But what I realized, what had been going on for the week prior, a little bit more, I was extremely tired. Um, I was able to get up and get out and go to work or travel, whatever I was going to do. But it was once I came in the house and sat down, but it was just to take off my shoes. It was, I was totally drained. And this went on um, for a little over a week prior to, I just, I decided to go to the, um, the hospital because the asthma just wouldn't, um, it just kept clutching at my chest. So I just want to say you may want to get yourself checked if you find yourself being tired. Um, my sister reached out to me um, and she was saying that uh, she works in the medical field and she was saying that that's what they're finding that um, people that ha are having these bouts of tiredness uh, appear to be at like a high point with I guess a COVID infection or something to that effect. So if you've been having the type of experience that I had um, a little over a week ago, which it started, you may want to just go and get yourself checked to see if um, you have possibly um, picked up the COVID virus. So that's all I want to say to that. And uh, moving along, um, let's uh, pray. I don't remember right now. We prayed already, so I'm going to pray again. <laughs> Our Father, thank you so much, Lord. 
up, I remember, but it's all good. Nothing wrong with too much prayer. So, Father, continue to bless us and keep us. And if there's somebody out there, Lord, who needs this, or maybe it's somebody just tuning in right now, I don't know. Lord, whatever prayer that needs to be released over any of our circumstances, I ask that you would release it now. Lord, if there's someone who's struggling with something on the inside, Father, and just may need to be released, or maybe need to understand afresh and anew that you've taken the sins that they have confessed and you've cast them into the sea, the depths of the sea, and you don't remember them anymore. But Father, we have an enemy that goes dump this dumpster diving in the trash that we discard and goes down into the waters and pulls up the stinky polluted water and pushes it back on our shores. So Lord, help us to remember that if anything is getting pushed back that we have already discarded in the name of Jesus, remember he is faithful. He has forgiven you and throw that trash back out in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay. Depressing or uplifting. June the 18th. Praise the Lord forever. Amen and amen. This morning, I read Psalm 88 in the New Living Translation. The introduction read, For the choir director, a psalm of the descendants of Korah, a song to be sung to the tune of the suffering of affliction, a psalm of Hermon the Ezraite, I soon saw why this psalm would be sung to the tune of the suffering of affliction. It starts with a positive line, O Lord, God of my salvation, but quickly goes downhill. Although the song mentions God, it really is about Heman and his troubles. I cry out to you by day, and I, co I come to you at night. Now hear my prayer, listen to my cry, for my life is full of troubles, verses 1 through 3 of Psalm 88. Then Herman blames God and accuses him. You have driven my friends away. Why do you reject me? You have driven my friends away, verse 8. Why do you reject me, verse 14? Your fierce anger has overwhelmed me. Verse 16. He ends in depression. Speaking of death, he says, Darkness is now my closest friend. Verse 18. Wishing for something more encouraging, I read on. Psalm 89 starts out, I will sing of the Lord's unfailing love forever. The writer speaks of God's unfailing love, his faithfulness, his promises, his might, his glory, his justice, his truth, his wonderful reputation, and his righteousness among other attributes. In verses 38 to 48, the psalmist looks at the things he doesn't understand. And in verses 49 through 51, he expresses his concerns. He ends in triumph. Praise the Lord forever. Amen. Amen. Wow. What a contrast. What was the difference? The first was written by Heman, the Ezraite. The second by Ethan, the Ezraite. So the two had the same family background. They each addressed their frustration, but one's words felt depressing and the other's words uplifting. As I read the chapters again, I realized Heman was focused on emotions. In contrast, Ethan brought his feelings to God but focus on God and truth. I've often heard it said 
that we become like what we focus on. God, I prayed, help me to recognize the truth about myself and my challenges, but let me focus on you and truth. Help me become like you. Make my words, even the expression on my face, uplifting and encouraging. Amen. Our reading today was written by Heberman Heberman. I'm sorry. Was written by Helen Heberman. Amen. And Father, thank you so much for this reading. Thank you, Lord, for these words in this last sentence where she says make my words even the expression on my face uplifting and encouraging so Lord this morning today fresh and anew Lord help us to put an encouraging uplifting expression on our face, Lord, so that it is the smile and the sense of relief should somebody need it, need it when they look upon us. Lord, help us to turn inward to you so you can shine outward from us and bless someone today. There's a song from long ago says, make me a blessing to someone today. So Father, make us a blessing to someone today. In Jesus name, thank you, Lord. Amen, amen, and amen again. Family, have a wonderful day. I'm gonna attempt to do one more reading to get us um, up to date. Um, continue. Let's pray for us, for one another, for our strength, for our continued um, work and responsibility that the Lord has given to us. Welcome to anyone new um, that has come to uh, visit um, my YouTube channel. I haven't checked any of those things for the last couple of days, but have a blessed day, everyone. I love you. This is Miss Norma. I'm getting ready to sign off. And I'll say it again. Send the song. The songs encourage my heart, your heart. I hope you're looking at the list. Oh, what I wanted to say also that on in the in the playlist there are two, two three of them that say devotional readings. The one that says devotional readings and it's like 140 something songs, that's actually the videos that I have recorded. So you just may wanna make a note of that. It's not songs, it's videos. And then the one that says songs and the number four for devotional readings, those are the songs that go with the daily readings that are, that you know, I put out um, every day as much as possible. Continue to have a blessed day. I'm signing off. This is Miss Norma. I'm going to do a slight wardrobe change and try to get the 19th done. And possibly on tomorrow, I'll catch up and I'll do the 20th and the 21st. So I'll see you again shortly. This is Miss Norma signing off. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Amen. And I love you. Mm.